Jay and today I'm here with yet another book haul. Are we really surprised? But this time we have six books instead of the usual five. So without further ado, let us get started. So the first book that I have is actually from Chapters. The rest of the five are from Value Village like usual but I've been eyeing this book for a while and they were having like a promotion where you get like 500 plum points for every book that you buy so I was like might as well I have gift cards. So we got a Number in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. I have the second and third books, so obviously I need the first book before I can read the second and third book. So now I have the full trilogy. I'm pretty sure there's a fourth book coming, so I have the first three at least. So we're going to get that done, hopefully before the fourth one comes out. But I'm really excited because this is like super hyped and everybody seems to really enjoy it. So I want to be on that bandwagon and really enjoy it as well. not going to give a synopsis because... This book has been around forever and everybody knows what it's about, so there you go. We're going to read it. The next book that I have is Watching You by Lisa Jewell, and this follows a neighborhood. I'm not 100% sure if it's like a specific one person or if it's just the neighborhood in general, but this neighborhood in England, which is supposed to be like really exclusive doctors, lawyers, that kind of profession living there so it's like super upscale they all live there and then somebody is murdered in their kitchen and it's the neighborhood trying to like figure out who committed this murder or like what happened it seems like it'll be a pretty good like murder mystery who done it kind of thing and i'm into the stabby stabby murder murder books so i'm really excited about this one I, it's been on my radar for a while so Found it at Value Village and I was super excited about it. The next book I have is called Vault of Dreamers and this is by Kara M. O'Brien. I've read her birthmarked book and I didn't really like it that much. It was like a historical fiction fantasy crossover thing. I was not the biggest fan but I see this book all the time on Book Outlet so it was at my thrift store for like $1.99 or something. We're gonna give it a try but it follows this girl named Rosie Sinclair who goes to the Forge Academy which is basically this school for like really talented people and basically their entire life is showcased for people to watch so there's like video cameras everywhere and people watch what they do at this school. Their sleep is induced through pills and their dreams are showcased as well but then one day Rosie decides that she's going to skip a sleeping pill and she discovers a whole bunch of secrets and whatnot at the school and it's basically the story of that apparently it's a trilogy but we're gonna see what we think of the first book before we buy the second and third books if we like it so I'm excited about it I think it sounds pretty cool and then the final three books are all part of the same series I have followed this author on Twitter for a while now so I've never read one of her books found it three out of four in the series so I figured I'd pick them up if they're there. The first one is The Hundredth Queen, then The Fire Queen, and The Rogue Queen by Emily R. King. This follows 18 year old Kalinda who is an orphan of the sisterhood which from what I'm getting from the back of the book is like a nunnery kind of situation but she's been plagued by fever for her entire life so she doesn't think that she'll ever be a courtesan or a wife or even a servant. But then a tyrant of the kingdom comes and visits the sisterhood and picks her from the sisters and basically puts her into this desert. She has to fight between 99 other girls to be the wife of the king but she is not having it. She doesn't want to be there. But then her guard named Devin is her only solace during this battle of the death and it's basically the story of her falling in love with him but also trying to start a revolution. She apparently has a hidden talent or like power. I'm guessing that it's fire because you know the second book is called The Fire Queen, so that's my guess. I think it's going to be a pretty interesting fantasy-ish read. I'm not a huge fantasy reader, so we'll see what I think of it when I read it. But I have the first three books, so we're going to marathon, and then if I like the three of them, we'll get the fourth one. We'll see what we think of them when we read them. Alright guys, so that was my haul for this time around. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these, what you thought of them, and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!